Hey gamers, I am Cybersnake7. It's Thursday, it's Man vs Master System, and yet it's the final 10 games. That makes 100 on the shelf. Uh, it's been an interesting 10 weeks trying to get all these together. I've had a couple of weeks where I've literally struggled to try and get your 10 games to show you. But uh, I think next year when I start up again, uh, I'm going to make life a little bit easier on myself uh, and try and get ahead of myself rather than struggle each week. But out of these 100, I've had some great help off some great YouTubers. Obviously Woodling37, also Dave, uh, I'm a Gamer Geek, um, Sprites and Bites, um, the Hoops 2, which I did a trade with at the very beginning of the collection, and obviously there's two in this little lot uh, from Dave Retro Nintendo. So to all you guys, uh, thanks a lot for giving me help and passing some games over to my way to amass this little lot behind me. But without further ado, guys, we ain't here to talk. Let's get on with the games, and these are games 91 to 100. Right, game 91 is a game I very first started playing on the Commodore 64. Uh, always loved the game, but never ever managed to do it, even on this Master System version. And it is Impossible Mission. A great little platform platform game. Um, obviously the premise to this one is you're an agent, and you've got to stop Elvin Attenbender, which is the mad professor from technically blowing up the world, I'm assuming. Uh, but you've only got a certain amount of time to actually find all the clues within the lab and then also um, deactivate the bomb with the final clues that you collect through the game. Well I've obviously done that many a times and I've never been able to solve the puzzle at the end and I've always died but um, as I say the game itself pretty interesting, uh, nice little platform game. The, the game itself hasn't changed graphically uh, through whatever version you've actually played this game on but um, if you're into these sorts of uh, Nice little action puzzle games. Uh, worth a punt. So that's game 91, guys. That's Impossible Mission. Game 92 is an arcade game. I can't actually say that I've ever seen it in the arcades, but I'm assuming it is one. Uh, it's just been on multi-format systems, this has, uh, and it is Smash TV. Uh, obviously, this is a, a top-down uh, shoot em up fest. Technically, you're a guy who's entered a, a quiz show, uh, and... The main goal is to kill everything in sight and get amass as much money as possible. Um, now I know, um, obviously, within this game there's keys to collect. I don't know whether in this version uh, there is, but within uh, when I've played the PS2 version you've got keys to collect. And if you collect all the keys, it unlocks either a secret boss or a secret level. Or I'm not too sure whether it's in this one. But as I say, this is a uh, two-player game, so you know this should be a good crack for you. Uh, you and a friend or, or you know you're having a few beers you know so it looks pretty good uh, as I say don't change on any format you play it on graphics are the same the gameplay is the same but I say not a bad little two player game and that's game 92 guys that's Smash TV game 93 is one of two I've had off Retro Dave uh, and this is a platformer I've never ever played before um, there's a couple of variations to this on different systems, but uh, obviously I haven't tried it, I just haven't had the time. Like most of these I'm going to show you, I just haven't had the time to play them at all. But um, it looks a pretty interesting game, but it is Tom and Jerry the movie. Uh, without being too over the top about it, it's you Tom chasing Jerry. And you've got to catch him technically. Um, as you can see, if you can, it's like a nice side-scrolling platformer. Um, looking forward to giving it a go. Uh, the six rounds to this one, but uh, I'm not going to read the synthesis because it basically says what I've just said. Your time, and you've got to catch Jerry. Simple as that. So, looking forward to giving that a go. So, hopefully, it's pretty good. But there's game 93. I'm losing count already. That's Tom and Jerry the movie. Game 94 is a movie license game. Um, and I'm quite scared after Back to the Future Part 2. Uh, still haven't got the third one, so I'm, I'm not holding my breath about this one. But I actually like this game on the uh, Super Nintendo, um, the Indiana Jones, The Greatest Adventures. I'm not holding my breath about this one, but it looks a pretty interesting game. And it is Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Uh, graphically, it don't look too bad. Uh, it looks very familiar to The Greatest Adventures on the Super Nintendo, as I says. But this one obviously follows the movie. But uh, there are six levels to this one. So I'm, I'm looking forward. I'm not being uh, 
optimistic that it's going to be um, a brilliant game. But um, as I say, if it's anything like the Super Nintendo version, just hope it is, then I'll, I'll quite enjoy it. But as I say, looks okay. Really great nick, as per usual. But um, looking forward to giving that one a shot. And that's game, I'm going to lose count again. 94, man. 94. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Game 95. Now, game 95, I watched this on a YouTube uh, video uh, a long, long time ago uh, when I never even considered collecting for the Master System. But I, I was quite intrigued by this game. Uh, and it, it, it don't look too bad. Uh, and it is Cloud Master. Uh, and it's obviously a side scrolling shoot 'em up, but the thing I like about it is it's kind of in like in a Japanese, it's got Japanese backgrounds, um, and obviously you're a guy on a cloud. But the uh, the premise to this one is uh, the Desperados are back. It's time for you to put on your uh, silver badge, strap on your lightsaber, and restore peace to the quiet little western towns. It won't be easy because this time the bad guys are gunning for you. Was there a sequel? I don't know. But this don't look too bad. As I say, I've watched the game in action and I do quite like the look of it. As I say, not played it yet, so but still thankful to have it in the collection. But that's game 95 guys, that's Cloudmaster. 96. 96 is another platforming game. Now I watched um Pete's Nestastics video, one of his older ones, uh, when he decided to collect for the, obviously the math system, I've shown you the game there, but um, he kind of recommended this one, so I thought I'd give this one a go, and it, it is Psycho Fox, and it don't look too bad, you've got three stages, seven rounds to this, and I might as well read the synthesis because I don't know nothing about this game, but Psycho Fox is an adventure game centering around the entertaining and thrilling escapades of a very special fox. Psycho Fox ventures into many stages, worlds to conquer the strange beasts and boss monsters he encounters. So, that's the premise of the story. You go into different levels and beat the bosses and the monsters. Looks like you got some sort of uh, mini games as well, ain't it, Sherlock? That one especially. But uh, it don't look too bad. Uh, but I'm going off Pete's recommendation, so it can't be that bad. But there you go, that's game 96, guys. That's Psycho Fox. Game 97. Now, Game 97 to 100 are a franchise I've just bought all in one go uh, because I really do like these games anyway. Um, but this one I've definitely played in the past uh, and I absolutely love this one. Um, my friend bought this one a long, long time ago uh, and I bumped it out of work so me and him could complete it through in one entire day. Um, and it's this one, it's Wonderboy. Absolutely brilliant side scrolling platformer. Brilliant arcade game. Uh, you can't go wrong with this. Everybody knows Wonderboy. Um, but yeah, uh, it, it, when I was playing it, it seemed like an endless game. The boss after boss after boss. But um, a brilliant, brilliant uh, platform game. Can't go wrong in it. If you haven't got it, it's a must. That's game 97, guys. 97? Oh, yeah, 97. That's Wonderboy. I think this is a record. This is. I've lost count about four times already. Anyway, game 98. Is another Wonderboy game. Um, now these ones, I definitely haven't played these ones. Uh, these are all new to me, but uh, they're all got twists on them. As um, you got swords and shields in these ones. But the next one I'm going to show you is Wonderboy in Monsterland. Yeah, Wonderboy in Monsterland. Um, and obviously, same sort of style of uh, platform game, but you're not running along. You know, screens following you. Blah blah. This one's. You uh, go around left to right, uh, killing the monsters, but you got a, short and a sword and a shield this time round. But uh, I'll read the back, obviously. Uh, Wonderboy's back, but this time he's playing for keeps. No more cute dolls, fruit or milk. Now he, uh, it's sword, armour, shield, labyrinths and fire-breathing dragons help Wonderboy through 12 perilous monster-filled levels of challenging adventure. Sounds interesting. Now, I know for sure... I don't know whether it was this one or one of those two that I'm going to show you. Uh, a friend of mine said these are quite a challenging games. So this is going to be an interesting time to play those three anyway. But um, I'd say 
looks pretty good. Looking forward to giving it a shot, but that's game 98. And that's Wonder Boy Monsterland. Game 99. Game 99 is yet another Wonder Boy, obviously. But this time around, it's Wonder Boy in Monster World. Uh, this one, I think, is probably the rarer ones out of the four. Uh, the rarest one, should I say, out of the four. But um, it looks a pretty damn good game. I, I, I did pay quite a bit for this. 25 quid for this one. Um, but, uh, yeah, it looks a pretty good game. But this time round... Uh, um, as the legendary hero Wonder Boy, it's up to you to rid the monster world of the terrible creatures that have taken over. Purchase your armour, weapons and spells to embark on a quest through the fantastic land in search of the source of the evil monsters. So technically, you've got to kick the monsters asses and then find out who the hell is making these monsters appear. And you've got to kick his ass, simple as that. But... Um, Looks a pretty uh, biggish game. I don't know if it's got passwords or nothing. I'm assuming it has. But um, more of the same as you can see. Uh, like uh, the last Wonder Boy game. But looks pretty interesting. Yet yeah, again I expect uh, a challenging game out of this one without doubt. But that's game 99 guys. That is Wonder Boy in Monster World. Game 100. Right I'm going to take a breather. Game 100 is another Wonder Boy game. Um, obviously, you've seen the other three, so I'm assuming you're going to guess what it is. And it's Wonder Boy 3, The Dragon's Trap. Yet more of the same uh, in terms of style of gameplay, uh, but this time around with a twist apparently. Um, Wonder Boy has been cursed. He's critically wounded, uh, the ugly beast, but his final breath turns Wonder Boy into a lizard man. The young fighter must now seek out the Salamander Cross, the only force that can restore him to his normal self. But first, he must find it. So, same old, same old, in quest-wise, but with a twist, obviously, you've got to find the salamander key and then cure yourself and turn your back, uh, self back into Wonder Boy. So, yet another challenging game, no doubt. Now, this one has got a password save, so this is going to be a pretty big game, I'm assuming. But yet another game I'm absolutely looking forward to giving a go of. But there you go guys, that is game 100. Woo. I'm glad about that. There you go guys, 100 games, 10 weeks, happy, I've completed my first 100. Only another 169 to give. But the thing is, I'm a bit wary about whether to get the Smurfs. Smurfs 2. Whether I should get it, I don't know. Uh, been up in the air about it because officially, I've had people say, yeah, you want to get it, and people say, well, you don't really want it because it's technically a not official a power release. Um, I know I've got the first one, but realistically, I didn't buy that, um, or I didn't go out to buy that on its own. That was in the pack that I got a couple of weeks ago with 25 games. So, whether I end up getting the Smurfs 2, I don't know, but I've got a lot of time to think about it. I've got a lot of games to get before I get to that uh, get that far. But this has been fairly easy. The next 169, uh, it's going to be a tough time because there's, there's, there's a few expensive titles that I've still got to get. So it's going to be a long haul and an expensive one at that. Now, um, a couple of people asked me what I've spent on this little lot here um, up to now on the first 100 games. Well, I worked it out. Uh, taking out um, the few that are already owned uh, and also the couple of trades that I've done for free I've literally spent about 703 quid on this lot alone um, if the wife found out I'd, I'd be dead and buried believe me but um, she's never going to see this video I hope but there you go 703 quid and the worst is yet to come so I'm not looking forward to it but anyway guys Hope you've enjoyed the first 100 games of Man vs Master System. I'm going to give it a break now until next year. Hopefully you'll be back for more next year uh, and follow my stupid escapade to try and get the complete Master System collection. But guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. I am Cybersnake7. Keep playing and keep watching.